Hello, everybody. Larry, I'm the pin bug guy. You're not the pin bug guy, you're the pin pig guy. Huh, can you believe that? Oh, well, what a way to be a pig. Oink, oink, I got them. So, Welcome back for another exciting episode of Larry's Fountain Pens. And thank you all for joining me. Pull up a chair. Stop the presses. Hold what you're doing. Kick it back. Put a smile on your face and get into the fountain pen. Peace. So, today I am going to do a review on this Waterman. Yes, I have the same shirt on because I just did a review on the uh, Waterman Coran. Oh, beautiful pen, great writer, broad nib. Oh, go. I just love it, love it, love it. So anyway, here is the pen that I bought, uh, oh, maybe about three weeks ago, maybe. And what started was this pen right here, which I mentioned earlier that Troy sent me. I love the way this thing wrote. I think I must have refilled this thing three times. You know, when I really enjoy a fountain pen, I really enjoy a fountain pen. And it's hard for me to put them down because I have others I need to use. And I don't like to neglect my family. Cool. So, anyway. Uh, if anybody out there, which I'm sure there is, can help me on this. Because... I'm no expert on these uh, vintage pens. As you can see, this one, it's a Waterman, but the caps are, let me get a little closer for you. One on the left is the one I'm reviewing now. It has that black little dot on it and the one on the right right here doesn't and the clips are different as well so this is the one I'm reviewing and I need some more information about this pen I will tell you what I have found out about this pen I couldn't find this pen this particular pen uh, and I did look for it first of all it's a Waterman, uh, and they're made in France. I apologize. Waterman made in USA, right here on the cap. Okay, so this is a Waterman CT, uh, made in the USA on the cap, and it's a, a silver cap with a black lacquered barrel and uh, I'll tell you the positives and the negatives about this pen and I'll get the dimensions when I'm done at the end of the review and I'll do a pen comparison as well so a little bit about this pen the CT Black Waterman C slash C medium nib with a scripto cartridge I bought this from a seller off eBay, and uh, the pen with ultrasonic clean scripto cartridge is installed. Pull off cap, unscrew the barrel, there is the cartridge. It has light surface scratches, and it's uh, a classic writing instrument. The clip, it has a snug grip to it, but it does work. Um, it's pure Brazilian carabu. Is that how you pronounce that word? Carabu, caraban, C A R. N-A-U-B-U-E. 
you wax. Any feedback, Mr. Announcer, on that? Hint, hint. Carnaboo. Carnaboo. Boo, boo, boo. There you go. I am horrible, pathetically bad on names, and I don't apologize. Eh. So, and it's polished barrel. It's free of dings and dents. Bites, cracks, or bent. And the nib is free of uh, bends and cracks. The times are straight. You see that there? Um, and aligned. And it's a semi or semi-stiff flex nib. And uh, it also, the seller said it's a refill with an uh, eyedropper as well which I've never tried. There's no metal in there. Just uh, that metal band around here, so it might just do that. But I've yet to do that. So, interesting. So, here is the pin. Uh, I see one dent here in the cap. Um, it's a few little scratches down here. There's not perfect shape. But I think this pin cost like, well, it was $4.50 and the shipping was $4.99. So total out the door, $9.49. But it's an old vintage water pin. And why did I buy these pins? Well, after I got the first one, really, that Troy sent me right here, it brings me back to the 50s and 60s, my childhood memories, and which are beloved and I cherish to this day because I had so much enjoyment and pleasure growing up in the 50s. So I have to have them. I'm not into vintage fountain pens. Uh, I'm more into the newer pens, but I'm not against the vintage fountain pens. So with that said, I probably will be buying other vintage fountain pens soon. Uh, because for me, they're history. That's how the Fountain Pen West was won. But if anybody knows this fountain pen, recognizes it with that little black dot on top, leave me some comments below. Whatever you know about this pen would be helpful. So, now... I'll go ahead and do the dimensions of the pen real quick. And then I'm going to tell you what are the positives and the negatives at the end of the review when I'm doing the writing sample. All right, folks. The length of the cap is 61.9 millimeters or 2.43 inches. Uncapped, it's 124.4 millimeters or 4.9 inches. Posted, which it does very well. No problems there. Fits fine in the hand with the grip. Plenty enough room for my small fingers and for large fingers. Right there. And here's that nib. All right. Posted, it's a uh, 154.4 millimeters or 6.07 inches. The barrel at the widest point is going to be 10.6 millimeters or 0.42 inches. The cap at the widest point will be 10.5 millimeters or 0.41 inches. Okay, I'm back. But to make sure that I didn't miss anything, again, the barrel at the widest point is 10.6 inches, which I just, I mean, I'm sorry, 10.6 millimeters or 0.42 inches. Um, and the cap at the widest point is 10.5 millimeters or 0.41 inches. The overall length of the pen, 139 millimeters or 5.47 inches. 
and this is the Waterman CT. So let's do some writing and I am just going to dip the pen in because right now I have about 12 pins already inked up so then I've got to wash this one out so but that's the life of being a fountain pen user right? Correcto. I'm going to use it on some uh, Rhodia line paper. All right, let me get started here and I'll go ahead and cap the pen and show you real quick. Feels really nice on the hand. So I'm just going to dip that little jewel in. Just like that. And here we go. Right. And really, I, I didn't have any problems with the pen whatsoever. Fast writing. Okay. Now, we'll do a few S's here, and wetness, it has some wetness to it, upside down. You can't get some upside down writing. with this pen to be like a fine on the pen. Okay. Now, it said semi-stiff flex. All right, so it's a semi-flex with a stiff nib. So let's see. Here is no pressure. That's sweet. Now we're going to do it with pressure. And there is some line variation. No pressure. Pressure. Right there, you can see it. So let's try this. That's with pressure. No pressure. It's a neat little pen. Uh, it's not scratching. I think you can probably hear that nip. Uh, I would say that would be some, some good kind of feedback, but it's not scratchy one whatsoever at all. It's just a nice little pen. Uh, so, okay, last but not least, we'll do some pen comparisons. And here's that other waterman that I uh, was telling you about and we've been showing you. And uh, they're about, well, they are same size, just about... Now, the black waterman is a tad longer than the uh, blue one. And here is the Hero 007. And the waterman is just, just a bit, bit longer. Nothing to even write whom about. And about the same girth, maybe the waterman has a little bit more girth to it. And the Pilot Metropolitan. You're looking about the same length with the Pilotan, of course, more girth. And the Preppy. They are about the same length with the preppy, more girth. And last but not least, the Lamy All-Star. Uh, 
about the same length with the Lamy All-Star more girth. So there you have it. And the positives and negatives on this pen. Uh, really, I have no negatives to say about the pen. The, the pen writes well. It looks okay. It's an old vintage pen. It does what it's supposed to do. Uh, it does have some flex to it. So, yeah, it's a cool pen. Well, that's going to wrap this session up. I want to tell you guys thank you from the bottom of Larry the Pen Bug's heart for your support. And leave your comments below of any information you know about this pen. And if you haven't subscribed to Larry's channel yet, do so. Don't forget, I also have a, a Larry's Fountain Pen group on Facebook. If uh, you'd like to be a member, come on and join up. And uh, you can share all your lovely pens, your pen stories. When you first got your first pen, how did you feel? Uh, what age were you? Do you remember what it was? The kind of ink that you first used. You can show your writing samples, your inks. You can share your passion of fountain pens and inks and accessories. All right, folks, thank you very much for taking the time for joining me, Larry the Pen Bug Guy, on Larry's Fountain Pens. Until my next review, peace, love. Talk to you later. Oh, don't text and drive.